hello hello i'm kayla d and welcome to my life in a channel you guys as you can see by the title it is time for a blowout at home diy blowout with conair heat rollers so um we're gonna get into this video i'm not gonna waste your time let's get straight into it step one is washing my hair so i'm going to show you guys the products that i use and then we will meet back up after i am washed and ready to go okay so this is the amica vault color lock shampoo it's really good it smells great um this is for my girls that color their hair like me and want to make sure that you don't wash your color out the only thing i will say is i feel like it leaves kind of a dry sticky aftermath but that's okay because then we go in with this and this is the holy grail tgim miracle repair this is perfect for just making sure that your hair is moisturized and luxurious uh, it's a deep conditioning treatment that i use once a week every time i wash my hair Okay, so I'm out of the shower and I'm ready to go. What I'm gonna put in my hair before I blow dry it is some TGIN protective leave-in conditioner. This is just to make sure that my hair holds in the moisture that it has in it right now. So I'm just gonna go in and I just use just a little bit, y'all, not much at all. And just run it down. Next, I'm going in with the Amika Plus Size Perfect Body Mousse. Here it is. And this is just to make sure that since our hair is really, really clean right now, we want to make sure that it still is able to hold the curls. So that's why putting a little bit of product in before you blow dry is a really good idea. And just rake it through. And comb that out. The last thing that I like to put in is a really, really light oil. This is Organic Grow. It's for growth, but it's such a nice light oil that I like to put it on the ends of my hair. Just for length retention. I only use four drops just now. And I'm just going to do the ends like this. So now that my product is all in, I'm going to let it air dry just for a little while while I like put my lotion on and do all the other post shower routine and then we will blow dry it the rest of the way so i will see you when i'm sitting in front of my mirror ready to blow dry my hair my hair is starting to dry on its own a little bit and um before i start the blow drying process i am going to go ahead and plug up my conair heat roller set before they get hot let me just go ahead and show you in case you haven't seen it comes with two different sizes. The purple ones are an inch and a fourth, and the bigger black ones are the size inch and a half, an inch and a half barrels. So all you have to do is plug it in about 10 to 15 minutes before you're ready. It starts getting hot immediately, but I like to give it 10 to 15 minutes to warm up and get very hot so that the curl will really hold and get the job done for us. And um, once this one, the one with the little red dot turns white that's when you know they're hot and ready to go i'm going to plug these in and then when i come back we will start blow drying disclaimer before we um start this blow drying i want you guys to know i do not claim to have the professional skills of a hairstylist to do like a full-on blowout at all i just know how to get my hair dry and to brush the curls out. I do not use like a like a, a round brush at all. All I do is go section by section. I use this brush because it has like the boar bristle type of feel so that it can grip the hair while I blow dry it. But I personally don't like to use round brushes on myself because when I do, I feel like I feel a lot of snagging, a lot of hair is getting pulled out of my head. I feel that way even when I go to professionals for blowouts. So I just try to stay away from them. It's more about health for me. And here we go. Here is the final blowout. You guys, I'm really proud of this one because this is honestly my best one yet. I'm still new to this. This is my fourth 
time doing the full process all on my own. It's honestly best to take your time with the blowout process and you will have better results with the curlers. When I rush through the blowout process, I realize like I end up having to use my actual curling iron at the end of the process way more than when I just take my time and get my blowout as good as I can. So this is the blowout. And now we are going to start with the rollers. Another thing that the Conair heat rollers come with is these clips. Now these clips, I'm not gonna lie to you, they are not the best clips in the world. They're very flimsy, they're plastic, and they're just, they don't really, they're not the best. But they get the job done, but they're not the best. But this is what comes with the Conair heat roller set. And the last product that I'm gonna show you that I use is the Hot Toddy Before Ironing Heat Protectant Mist by Dry Bar. One thing that I have yet to invest in myself that I want to invest in is some gloves, like heat protectant gloves. You know the ones that come with, if you buy a wand, those usually come with gloves. Cause these things, they get really, really hot. Step one for me is to section my hair. And I personally start with the bigger rollers. Here's my first roller. Let it set out for just a second because it is so hot. Just go ahead and spray this entire layer with the heat protectant really focusing on the ends. So here's what I mean, you guys. These clips are just like, they're just not sturdy. So what happens is you'll roll it up and you'll put it in place and then eventually it falls. And it's okay if it falls. It's just the fact that sometimes it leans forward or it doesn't lean in the right way. So then you'll have a dent, which you have to go fix with like one of your, either a flat iron or a curl iron, however you wanna fix it. But either way, here it is. And now what I'm going to do is just do my makeup, get myself ready, and let it sit for like 20, 30 minutes. The longer you let it sit, the better. And then I'll come back and we will take them out. And okay, so I've done my makeup, I've chilled, I've given them enough time. So let's go ahead and take these down. Here is what it looks like and then what I do next is just kind of gently because I personally want there to be some curls so I'm going to just gently kind of pull the curls apart not too much because like I said I want there to be curls I will pull this one like kind of comb it with my fingers Oh, I don't like the way this piece came out. So I will take my curling iron and curl this piece just to help it look a little bit better. 
but all in all i'm very satisfied with this one it came out beautifully so well, here is the final look i love it so so much so all i did was find the little pieces that i wasn't totally pleased with and take my curling iron and hit those on a very low heat setting i literally put it on the lowest heat setting possible and there was only three strands that i touched up which was right here right here and one piece in the back but all in all i love this so much it has so much body it's so cute i love it i love it i love it 10 out of 10 definitely recommend and also i want to say if you try this and the first time it doesn't go so well or it doesn't look up to par for you keep practicing i promise you it's worth it. it it gets easier and easier and it's just like who doesn't want this much body and flow and fluff in the hair okay okay guys so that's the end of this video if you liked it go ahead and like it go ahead and subscribe for me if you're not already subscribed and i hope to see you in my next video